Welcome to the UDP Archiving video learning series. This video describes how to use retention rules. Retention policy or retention rule help in managing storage volume by managing emails of organization. We can decide the duration to archive an email and after completion of the duration the email messages are purged from the system. As a result we can manage storage space better. UDP Archiving lets us assign two levels of retention policies, global and domain. Global level retention policy is set by super admin and applies to all the domains of an organization. Domain level retention policy is set by master admin or administrator for every domain. We recommend to set retention policy before configuring the email archiving on the mail server because the retention policy is applicable only to those emails that are archived after setting the retention policy. Let's see how to create retention policies at both levels. First, the super admin sets the default retention policy. Log in as super admin and click the configuration tab. In the configuration screen, enter a number in email retention field. The number indicates number of days. If we specify 3000, then all the archived emails of all the domains of our organization will be stored in UDP archiving for 3000 days. All the domains follow the same retention policy rule that super admin creates unless a master admin or administrator sets a different retention rule for a domain. To manage storage space better, administrator or master admin must set domain level retention policy. Retention rules set by master admin are applicable to the specific domain and override the global email retention settings provided by super admin. Log into UDP Archiving as Administrator and navigate to Retention Rules. Click Add Retention Rule. From the Add Retention Rule screen, we can add multiple retention rules based on different parameters. The system holds messages based on the longest retention policy applied. Enter detail for one of the parameters and enter number of days to retain messages. We can set multiple retention rule for the same message. The rule with the longest duration applies to a message. For example, set the first rule providing the name of a domain. The rule will apply to all the emails of that domain. Then we can set retention rules for emails at granular level by using other fields. For example, we can use from email address field or to email address field where we can enter one email address at a time. In the same way, we can set a rule mentioning the subject used in an email. We can also set a retention rule according to the name of an attachment used in an email. After setting a rule, we must click apply changes to make the retention rules active. Using remove option we can delete the retention rule whenever we want. Planning better for the retention rules lets us save storage space and helps us reduce cost. 